Hey guys, this is Lawrence from Auto Cosplay. In today's video, I'm gonna go over the different types of foam that I get, primarily in terms of price and quality. So the purpose of this video is to inform everyone that wants to get into cosplay where they can get puzzle mats or their EVA foam mats. Um, I know that term gets used a lot in the cosplay community, so I'm gonna go over, get over it with you guys. Where I get my foam when I first started off was this place called Harbor Freight. So sometimes you guys will see on my video, I'll put HFT, so that's just short for Harbor Freight. This is a cheap uh, hardware store where you can get these puzzle mats. So this is about $10 or $9. And to answer that question that a lot of people have been asking on my Bakugo build, um, you need to buy two sheets, two packs of these for two gauntlets. So that's where I, that's where I started off getting my puzzle mats and um, it was a good, good source. So I'll have a link to that in the description down below. So the alternative to that is you can go to Amazon, which I have a link to that as well. So that's what they have. You guys can check it out on the link. So those are the, uh, the two alternatives. If you don't have a Harbor Freight near you or you can't drive there, you can always ship from Amazon. That's, that's a good option to have. So the other thing is there's a foam called TNT Cosplay, which has been around for about, I think, two or three years now. Um, their foam is really good because it's smooth on both sides compared to the ones I just covered. So they're really good for stacking. They're smooth, they're higher quality. So this is a roll. I bought a lot of them, but they are a little bit more expensive. So I think this is a six millimeter roll. This not this whole thing, but I bought a lot of six millimeter foam and that is around $12. And I'm gonna go over price right now. And before I forget, I also bought some foam from Crossplay Crap. I'm going to take the price I paid for each foam and divide it by a total area in square inches. So each of these squares represent a square inch. Here's the layout of each foam we will be testing for price in six square inches. So for Harbor Freight, Six square inches is about two pennies. So for Amazon, six square inches is going to cost one, two, three pennies. Those are the price point for the puzzle mats, both from Harbor Freight and Amazon. They're relatively cheap. The downside to that, it's not smooth on both sides and it doesn't come out so pretty when you need it stack. And sometimes there's a lot of imperfections and pores. You also don't have much of a selection when it comes to thickness, but if budget is your priority, this will work for you. Now let's move into the specialty foam. For six square inches, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a penny per square inch. That's double of what you paid for Amazon. But you have a selection of thickness and the foam is noticeably smoother and takes paint much better. So the last and newest foam that I've yet to test is Cosplay Craft. Now for six square inches, Cosplay Craft is going to cost two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. That's twice the price per square inch. But this is the smoothest film I've ever done, so I'm excited to try it out. I hope you guys like that visual demonstration, and I know that might not be a lot for some of y'all, but if you're talking about really, really big foam projects, that can definitely add up to be something that you can uh, <clears throat> hurt your budget and your project. So that's it for my foam review. Went over Harbor Freight Tools um, foam. I went over the Amazon, TNT, and Cosmic Craft. Cosmic Craft being the most expensive, and Harbor Freight being the least expensive. This isn't to say it turns better, it's going to depend on your project and your budget. For me, if I wanted to make a really high quality metallic finish or just make a prop that looks really cool, I'll go with Cosplay Craft or TNT. And um, that's probably gonna depend on my budget as well. So depending on what you guys want, this video is basically to inform you guys what your options you guys have. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. And if you wanna see more stuff from me, I would be on Instagram. So check me out on Instagram. That's also in the link in the description down below. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.